Hello. I want to share with you some thoughts about Chapter 1 in Management 101, specifically page 8, Exhibit 1.2. Page 8, Exhibit 1.2, The Business Environment. As you can see, there are five items in that visual, and this chapter spends time explaining each one. I'd like to highlight some to help you absorb the material before you work on your projects in class. Now the first item, the economic environment. I'm not going to repeat back what the textbook says, but the textbook refers to the great recession that we are currently in. I was stunned today looking at the Washington Post newspaper online with this headline. Household income is below recession levels. And this one knocked me off my chair. Quote, the central bank said that the median net worth of families plunged by 39%, 39% in just three years from 120K in 2007 to 77K in 2010. Those are shocking numbers. And what does that mean? It means that folks that lost their job in this business recession spent their savings to save themselves. So the first item, right now, the environment is not good, and it certainly doesn't look like it's getting any better. The second item is the competitive environment. It's all changed because of the Internet and the, the powerful tools that the Internet brings. It's all changed because of collaborative working on, on projects through virtual teams and collaboratively sharing on tools such as we've seen in class, such as mind mapping. But the big change is it's global. We're talking about selling cattle grown in Kansas to China. It's global. That is a significant change in the world environment. Then the workforce advantage. The advantages in the knowledge our workforce brings to the table and the skill set the workforce brings to the table. That's why I was training, and we're going to train you up in a lot of modern, competitive, digital age tools that you'll be able to use in the workplace. The technological advantage. Well, business technology has moved from making bricks by hand to mass manufacturing. They even have a machine now that will photocopy an object and create it as the technology allows. The social environment. Demographics, which is a term that is mentioned on page 13, are very important. I am part of the aging gem generation. I'll be stepping down and out of the job market. And someone's going to have to step in. The only difference is if everyone in the aging population is stepping down and stepping out, they're taking with them all the intellectual property developed over a lifetime of work in business, in government, in nonprofits, in the church, you name it. The book also talks about, on page 15, rising expectations. Believe me, getting a job is difficult in today's economy, and we all expect to be able to get one. We expect instantaneous replies because we live in an instantaneous do-it-yourself society when you can book your own plane ticket and swipe your money. And many freshmen entering the university today have never physically seen a paper airplane ticket. That's how technology is changing business. Well, I hope this helps you in your understanding of the chapter, and we'll be doing this regularly.